And with me, uh, Hall of Fame trainer, Gary Hall Sr. And uh, this week at Gloucester Park on Friday night, the feature event is the Media Guild Cup. And uh, Gary, you've uh, entered and uh, accepted with uh, the four-year-old King of Swing, who's going to match strides with some uh, better class performers. Yeah, I threw him in the deep end, Ken, to see what we got. You know, like, uh, I could have put him in the MO, but, uh, you know, they, they haven't been standing up when I've put him in there and they, everyone's, you know, doesn't want to race him. So I get I get criticised for putting him in the easy races, so I put him in the hardest one on the night. So, What yeah. price do you reckon King of Swing should be? Drawn barrier one against uh, horses of uh, the calibre of Vampiro, Motu Premier, the bucket list, etc.? Yeah, well, even Waylaid, he's probably one of the better performed horses in the race and he was a good run the other day. But, yeah, no, I, I think he'll be favourite, don't you? I, I do expect him to be favourite from barrier one. I'd say Junior's going to be uh, going out there with the uh, option of uh, leading. Yeah, I th I, we'll be leading, you know. He's a quick beginner, we'll lead, it, and um, he's a good stayer. Um, a horse like Modi Premier couldn't beat uh, or just beat um, oh, speed man. Speed man, and I think um, King of Swings, you know, probably a couple of a couple of lengths better than Speed man. So you know, he'll be hard to beat. But if Motu Premier puts too much pressure on the one that worries me in the race, would be a horse like uh, <clears throat> the Bucket List, the way he can sprint. So uh, you know, because I think uh, King of Swing might lack a little point to point speed, but he's a good stayer. The thing is, you are going to get under pressure. I'm sure that Motu Premier and or Vampiro are going to go up forward early in the race to put pressure on the leader. You confident of that? <laughs> I'm confident of that. That's the only way Motu Premier or Vampiro can beat King of Swing. Okay, well then it's going to be a good race. It is. <laughs> and what I, did... I hope you're right because I don't like uh, processions. I like I like competition, Ken. So there will know. be action, Gary. And we, you, we, need a, we need a testing run for him to see how good he is. So. Well, King of Swing raced at Pinjarra on Monday afternoon. He ran into a very smart mare. Uh, don't uh, stop, believing. Uh, stop believing me, whatever it's called. Yeah. And uh, she put up a very good performance to run second to King of Swing, but he did win with uh, uh, consummate ease, I'd say. Yeah, he's, they walked early and he sat 1-1 one, one and he was, uh, you know, he was a bit fresh. He hasn't raced for a month and uh, he's not a sit sprint horse. He uh, sort of took time to wind up but and, and he, he won reasonably easy. But, you know, people expect him to win by 20 or 30 metres all the time. Well, he's not going to do that, is he, when you've got nice horses racing against him. And uh, some of the better four-year-olds are coming back now and, like, Jack Mack trial, fantastic, I see, and better aims racing tonight who I really rate as a horse. And, uh, you know, so it's all... all Org as well for WA's uh, Golden Nugget coming up. It's going to be a great race. Indeed it is. On a sad note, uh, Gary, uh, one of your many millionaire paces, uh, Bodine Boaz. Yeah, I sent him down south to go to stud and um, he spent a week at the vets learning how to, d to do the job. You know, they were teaching him, you know, how to serve and all that sort of thing and then uh, put him out in the paddock when he came back from the vets and uh, it looks as though a snake's bitten him. That's what, that's what the general consensus is. Not that you'll ever know without doing an autopsy, but uh, yeah, it appears that a snake's bitten him and uh, when, when, when they went out in the morning, he was uh, deceased. So it's pretty sad, really. You know, if, you know, he was sort of a horse that promised the world and he got a few problems towards the end of his career and uh, I don't think he realised his full potential, but he, he was a great horse for me. He certainly was, and Waylaid was another wonderful horse for you. Now trained by Karis Hamilton Smith, I thought it was a good run by Waylaid first up for Karis last Friday night. Yeah, I thought it was outstanding, you know, because like, uh, you know he's been out two years with uh, some reasonably serious injury to his uh, near side leg, and uh, you know she's done a great job, and she spent a lot of hours and time on him, and she deserves all the success she gets, and hopefully, uh, hopefully he can return to something like his best form. And I, I thought the other night he went, you know, pretty good. And Waylaid, of course, is running in the uh, Media Guild Cup, drawn barrier three on Friday night, and he could sneak another place. He could even win, Ken. He's, uh, he's a class horse. He's a very good horse, and uh, that run will only top him up a bit for, for this Friday night. So, yeah, I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me to see him winning. Talking about millionaire paces, your superstar, Chicago Bull, pulled up well after his win last Friday night? Yeah, he's going fantastic. He's... Uh, Luckily, he's been having, you know, some reasonably easy runs because I've probably set him a bit of a task. He's had too many runs, I think. But, uh, you know, I was going to turn him out. Then I've been giving him little breaks. And last time I turned him out, I had a few little problems with him tying up and that. So I didn't want that to happen again going away. But I think, you know, the next run will just top him right off for the Victoria Cup on the 13th of October. 
and I think you know he's favourite for that at the moment. And I, I, I think only bad luck will beat him in it, which might sound a bit uh, big-headed about a horse that's going into a Victoria Cup. But he, he's got some, probably the best form in Australasia at the moment, and uh, I think he'll be very hard to beat. And then. Um, after that, he's going to New Zealand for the New Zealand Cup, then back for the Inter Dominions, and then back here for the Perth Cups, uh, Fremantle Cup, and the and the WA Cup. So, you know, it's a, it's quite a strenuous program for him. So, if he shows any signs of uh, tapering off, he'll be uh, going to the paddock. Are you thinking about taking any other stable horses away east? No, Ken. Um, Going away to the east with horses, they have to be the top echelon. And I, I, I don't, I don't want to go over there just to compete. I want to go over there to win. So yeah. that, that's that's why I don't go. You know, they, they do. They, I have copped some flack over the years for not going away, like not taking uh, Bodine Boas to the Breeders' Crown and not taking King of Swing this year and that sort of thing. But uh, you know, you got to be realistic. And uh, you know, like over here, we've got some really good horses, and there's none better in, in Australia than our best horses. But we've got less of them. And over there, you go, you might go over there and meet five or six of them. Over here, you only got one to beat. So sometimes it's better to stay here. <laughs> and of course, Chicago Bull, he's going to have his final start before going away in the Stratton Cup on Friday week. Yes, he is. Yeah, that'll be his last start. If they get a field, he'll go around in that. And then um, then he'll be head, heading off on Wednesday. I think Wednesday the 10th of October he's penciled in for the flight, which means all, all his main work will be done before he leaves. And we're hoping for a reasonable draw. The, the only thing I can see wrong with the Victoria Cup from his point of view is it's only 2,200 metres, which sometimes barrier draws can be important over the shorter distance. And uh, if it's 2,500 metres, I'd be extremely confident. And Gary here at Gloucester Park on Friday night, speed man, he's going great guns for you. He's drawn barrier three in race two and uh, he comes up against uh, only a, a moderate uh, field of uh, rivals. He's got seven rivals, speed man. Uh, Michael Ferguson's going to take the claim and drive him from barrier three. Yes, he is. Do you think they're moderate? Ken, I thought they were quite nice horses. Well, they're quite nice. Of course, like Soho Chelsea with uh, Gary Hall Jr. driving, it's drawn barrier two, and he led and won last start, so he could lead and uh, take a bit of beating there. Naylor was a good winner last Friday night. Yeah, Rock and Roll Lincoln's a pretty nice horse. Yes. I think he is anyway. I'm socks you've been good. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's not... He's not past the post, but he, he'd probably be favourite, I'd imagine. And overboard again's in race four. Drawn barrier four. Yeah, he's looking to go good. He's uh, working pretty good, and his last run uh, wasn't as bad as it looks uh, numerically, so I, I really think he's got some hope, yeah. And then we come to the uh, Media Guild Cup and uh, King of Swing. It's going to be a great race to watch. It is. It's going to be interesting to see how he measures up. You know, you, I'm sort of throwing him in the deep end, uh, really, in our MOC3 against uh, C4 against um, open class horses. But I think he's up to it, so we'll see what happens. So all the best of the luck in the Media Guild Cup. And further, West Australia will be right behind you and Chicago Bull when he ventures over to the east and down to New Zealand. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about going with him. I think he's, you know, he's, if I've... You know, he's about in the same form as when Quinny went away for the Inter Dominions that time. He was, he's not as good as Quinny, quite obviously, but he's, uh, he's in great form and I couldn't be taking a horse away that uh, was any better, I wouldn't think, and uh, I wouldn't swap him for anything in the Vic Cup, that's for sure. Finally, is he ever going to challenge uh, I'm the Mighty Quinn as the best horse you've trained? No, I wouldn't think so. He's got, I think he's got three million to go. Uh, Ken. <laughs> three Inter Dominions, two Auckland Cups, you know, no... Uh, don't he's still a baby horse. He's comparatively young. Yeah, you never know. Miracles happen. Okay, all the best on Friday night, Gary. Okay, thanks, Ken.